Knife for me are the extension of my finger. So I want sharp knife, good knife, good quality. Basically you need three knives. You need a shopping knife, nine to 12 inch, depending on the side of your hand. You know, a man may have a bigger hand than a woman, whatever feel comfortable. A utility knife for slicing, doing all of this, about six inches, and a paring knife. Actually, you don't even have to pay much money for the paring knife, you tend to lose it. So cheaper, ordinary paring knife is fine, but you need those three knives. That being said, I probably have 300 knives at my house. Then when you use your knife, start with a large knife, put your hand on the table, this way, never this way, always this way, glue your knife to your hand and start cutting. I can look at the camera, I don't have to look at my hand, because the knife is touching my finger. As long as the knife is touching my finger, I cannot cut myself. That hand is a dummy, just go up and down. That hand order everything. If I push the knife, it goes there. Wherever, wherever that knife goes, the knife stay glued to it, and I cut, I cannot cut myself, providing I keep it glued to my finger, providing that thumb doesn't come here, stay in the back, and you can put it here, more here, wherever it feels comfortable for you. Then, if you want to learn, learn with something like a cucumber or a zucchini, let's say if you want to peel it, like you peel a carrot or this, first you cut the end of it. The second link with your vegetable peeler. If you cut the end of it, you establish a platform. Then you can do one streak. One streak. Instead of going this way and this way and cutting the end of it and finishing it up. One streak here, proper way in a professional kitchen whether you peel it or not. Then I'll cut it in half. And this is good to practice because it's flat, doesn't go down. So then you glue your knife to your finger and you go down and forward. The process of cutting is always down and forward or down or backward, down and forward, down and backward. Uh, often you see people doing very fast like this. Everything is still attached to the table like parsley too. So you have to have the process of cutting. Now when I do this, if I start lifting up, I can keep the point of the knife on the table and go down and forward. Or I can lift it up, cut it in that direction or in that direction, doesn't matter. If I put that hand here, it's like the petit rat de l'opéra, you know. Petit rat is the, the, little, uh, the little dancer of the opera. Put the knife here and I go down, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening because I'm not moving that hand. As soon as I start moving that hand, it will start cutting. And I move it very slowly, very thin slice. Not as slowly, thicker slice, and so forth. So here, very thin slice, thicker slice, and thicker slice. I don't even have to look at the camera. I know I'm holding that, and the, the, the slice will be from transparent thin to thicker, to thicker, to thicker, and you will hear the same sound. The way I move my hand will control the knife. So uh, proper knife techniques are essential. And I'm not a genius. And uh, you don't have to. Uh, some people learn a little bit faster than others. But anyone who does that type of practice can do that within you know, a few weeks or whatever. And it does take some of the grudgery out of cooking if you have good knife skill.